Hello guys and welcome to a Ron Gamer video. I want to do a very very quick review of the Solar War Iron Herald event that's live now. This is a two day event, well a little less than two days event. It features uh, some very relatively rare and one new relic. And these are uh, fairly good to get but you may consider not going all the way because they are just too high in soul price. So the boost titans here 1.2 using 4 star and well, four star physical titans. This includes Minotaur. Um, so that's really good. You can also use, of course, your Pigsy that you recently got. And that's unfortunately the highest boost you're going to get. Uh, you can all, uh, The relic for this event is Source of Light, uh, which you can, of course, pull from the temple. Let's have a quick look at the actual reward slide. I'm going to only talk about the key stuff here. Uh, so if you are not planning to do this event, I suggest going up to... Uh, 2.5 uh, thousand souls as your first landmark to get yourself some additional portal stones to grind for the Warrior of Kuta event that is starting on Thursday, which should be a big event. Um, hopefully a Hachi killer. We'll see how it goes. If not, try and get yourself to 4,000 if you have some more time to get yourself additional token. Uh, but that's probably where you want to stop. But if you do have additional time, try and get yourself to Orb of Life. And uh, this is one which I'm actually missing, and Orb of Life gives you uh, resistance to earth and fire for all your elements along with some true damage. This is a pretty rare relic. Notice the resistance to earth could make it very useful if we have a physical titan that got a physical troop buffing titan that comes up. And uh, remember, Hachi Skolites are earth, so this could be an important relic. For that, you have the Ancient Sling, which offers troop damage 30% on the first slot when max, along with some Archer and Titan Armor Piercing. Now, all of these relics are universal because when you clock with troop damage, and uh, you can equip it on basically any other Titan. So, it's uh, these are very, very good relics and uh, definitely worth the price at 8,000 souls. Banner of Iron is another great relic. You get uh, some more troop damage, but this relic can only be equipped on physical titans because the first slot is uh, titan physical damage. Uh, the stats, I believe, are 50, 30, and 18, um, which is uh, what we see normally on such banners. Iron Charms recently featured in the event offers, uh, I think it's 24% militia and spearman resist against melee, which is why you would really want this relic. Um, again, all these relics tying in gives me an gives me an intuition that the warrior of Kuta, whether we're going to see Norgol, as many people are speculating as I am speculating as well, could be a physical infiltrator. Of course, time will tell. Um, Trumpet of Iron is the new relic in this event. Notice there isn't any troop damage relic, and in fact, this relic looks very similar to another relic already in the game, Banner of Storm. Um, which is interesting that uh, they chose sort of that, but but looking at the trumpet there, I feel uh, the stats are going to be 50% Titan and troop damage, uh, and it's going to be either 12 or 16% all troop critical, and the last slot is going to be between 16 and 30. But because this price is so high at 15, I I kind of have a feeling it's either between it's either 24% Titan and troop armor piercing or 30%. Titan Troop and Alpha. That's not going to be more than that though. So, but there's that. The All Troop Critical can be quite useful. Um, and again, if you do see a, a very strong physical infiltrator, then this might be a very good fit for that. But it is priced at 15,000 souls with a 1.2 boost, which is maximum this event. It's going to take you a lot of battles to do this in two days. Is probably not going to be enough now before i uh, end my review a couple of things to just pass on to you guys uh, if you do have minotaur which is the one i'm using now at the moment if you have the minotaur's ring uh, you will get a effective 1.4 boost in the battle as you can see on the screen now also another thing to note if i take this uh, ring off i do have some old soul booster relics uh, in my stash as well all of these will also work so i had this from the uh last uh, the one before uh last raid boss event so there you go this is a four star relic and uh, you get the boost uh for this event right guys i think that's it for uh, that's it for this video uh, i hope you are uh, get good 
to the point you want personally i don't think the relic is worth 15000 souls especially if you do not have the relics but at least try and get yourself to either two and a half thousand or four thousand souls uh, to get those extra tokens gems and portal stones all right guys that's it for this video catch you all in another one